Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something completely different. And before I ramble or do anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the video because if you're watching this video and you don't know the channel, you probably just wanna see the video. But if you do wanna know more about it and all the backstory of why everything happened and how it happened, watch this after I play this and then I'll explain everything and kind of talk about it. But uh, here's kind of what went down. All British intelligence credentials are revoked. Excuse me? You're under indictment. CIA! Don't, don't touch me. I'm, Back off! I'm not going Back in. off, I'm, mother I, don't Drop touch those me. cameras! CIA! A, CIA, Huntsinger! I'm not You're touching. under indictment! I'm not touching you. US-18! Conspiracy to commit I'm murder! Not touching you. US-18! Conspiracy to... Will you guys suffering. call the cops? FISA Act violation! You're a terrorist! Mark Huntsinger identified! Who made CIA? We got that little... Well, I, I purposely filmed that whole thing. <laughs> All right. For those of you who want to hear the backstory about this, let me tell you everything, why it happened, why I didn't fight back as some people when I've showed my friends, why I stayed calm, what I should have done, what I shouldn't have done. Uh, I was checking some electric poles in Long Beach, California. Uh, I was doing, you could say, QC work uh, for electric poles out in the field. And I walked by this guy, this guy right here. Uh, I was just walking kind of by an alley and I noticed him kind of staring at me weird. And then I turned a corner and when I turned the corner, I see the guy get up and start walking and kind of get like agitated. As I start walking, I think, okay, the job I'm working for, I want to make sure that anything that happens from here on out, because I think this guy is going to come after me. If this guy goes to fight me, if he goes to get aggressive with me, if I have to fight back, I have everything on video so that I can prove to myself, a court if need be, or my company if need be, that I was doing the things I should have been doing. So let me kind of walk you guys through it and go what happened from there. All British intelligence credentials are revoked. Excuse me? You're under indictment. Right off the bat, so if you weren't listening to what he said just because you see that he's going crazy, listen to the things he say and notice how most of this stuff has to do with like the military, CIA, government, uh, army, any sort of stuff like that. CIA! Don't, don't touch me. I'm, Back off! I'm not going Back in. off, I'm, I, At this point right here, when I realized how aggressive he was getting and he started saying back off, my brain started thinking that you could only see him right here in my camera. And I wanted to make sure if things got aggressive that you can see I have a hand like showing, you know, my work, a core, anything, whatever it may be. Hey, I, I, I have my hand right here. I'm demonstrating that I am not hitting him. I'm obviously filming with this hand. I'm not doing anything because when you can't see me, I was like, okay, what if people think I, I need him or something or whatever? They're going to think, oh, I was, you know, uh, instigating this or kind of pushing it or hoping it'll go a different direction. Also, if you noticed right there, that little part, I don't, th this was where my brain was like, okay, if he touches me, I'm gonna have to fight back. That's just, whether I'd win or lose, I don't know if this guy could have crazy strength or if he could be one of those people that's so jacked up on drugs or something like that that he's gonna be able to fight or if it's the opposite, if it would be a completely easy fight and he would fall over, I don't know. But right here at this moment, when I went, I went to put my hand up and I don't think he was trying to hit me. I think it was almost like a reaction because my hand went up. You know, it's like when his hand goes up, it's like you almost think he's gonna hit. So this is one of those moments where I kind of thought Right here. Oh, I don't right right those cameras. That's where the things went like that. Um, what when you notice he's saying drop those cameras? This is something I'll talk about too in a minute. I'm wearing a lot of things. I have a lot of things on my me. I have a laptop strapped around me. I have a tripod. I even have a stick that is used to measure different things with. But I could see how it almost, and I'll get into this in a little bit, how it almost could look even like a gun if you weren't in a good state of mind. CIA! CIA, Huntsinger! I'm not You're under you. indictment! I'm not touching US-18! Conspiracy to commit I'm murder! That was a lot of spit coming out of his mouth right there. If, if, if this was filmed, this was like six months ago, I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, if this was filmed now, <laughs> during uh, COVID, I would have probably flipped out on that because you don't want to be spitting on people right now. US-18! Conspiracy to Will you guys call suffering. the cops? FISA Act violation! You're a terrorist! Mark Hunsinger identified! Who bitch CIA? We got that little We got that little effing 
word, something else. Well, I, I purposely filmed that whole thing. Customers started coming out of the homes. A lot of these customers, I've already been to their backyard. Some of the electric poles were in their, in their, in the, in their property. So I talked to these people. So I was like, did you guys just see that? That's my favorite. He calls me Depeche Mode. I, uh, I think that day, you know, I had my hair as I do, combed nice and slicked back, and I had kind of my, you know, I wear kind of like uh, out there glasses, a little more hip glasses. So he starts calling me Depeche Mode. You're dead Depeche Mode, Depeche Mode again. Oh, look, I, I, never no I never noticed that. You can see my hands like, whatever. Or like, what's happening? I don't know. Um, what I wanted to point out, a lot of times when people ask, hey, why didn't you fight this guy? Why didn't you take it to the next step? Most people I talk to and I show them this, they go, I would have punched this guy at some point. Um, I would have hit him at some point. Uh, first of all, I want to protect, uh, I was trying to protect my job. Uh, that's huge. I don't want to lose my job over something, over my pride, over needing to punch the guy, over having the, the desire that, of course, I did want to hit the guy or, you know, ha have a lot of equipment on me. I could have really hurt him with the stuff I had on me. Uh, myself, I'm not a fighter, but with the equipment that I had on I me, mean, it's some heavy duty equipment that could really hurt somebody uh, if I hit them with it. But I think the biggest reason I didn't want to instigate anything or progress anything is everything he's saying has to do with the government, CIA, even a lot of code words and slang that I don't even know what these things mean, but I feel like, and my guess, and I don't know going forward where I still feel, you know, in the moment you feel a lot of different things, but I think that this guy probably has some sort of PTSD. Of course, drugs are involved as well. You can just tell, you just know uh, there's uh, drug use uh, in this man's life, whether it's in his present stage or his past. Um, but with all the things he's saying, I genuinely believed he has some sort of PTSD that he probably served our country at some time. And that's hard for me to sit with because someone who has served our country, uh, where he's at right oh, now is not, he's not in a good place. I mean, this guy is not in a good place, but I could see by the things he's saying that he might've had these different visions of what I'm doing in his head. And this is what I was talking about earlier when I said that, when he said, put those cameras down, if you can see in my shadow right there, that's just one of the things I have on me, but I, like I said, I have a strap around me. Another thing that could look like a gun. I could see with drug use going on with PTSD. When, when I walked by, I could see how he could think this looks reminiscent of some sort of army time war person. I have equipment gear, you know, weaponry. It, it, it looks like like I said, if you had a delusioned brain that you could be like, whoa, this guy, this guy, it looks like one of the people I used to fight. He has some of the things on him. He's wearing some of the things that people used to wear when they, you know, would attack, when they would attack our country. With that said, I think that really is the biggest reason that I was able to keep calm. Um, also, another thing too, again, that little tap that he gave me in my hand, I don't think that was enough for me to justify any sort of pushback because I genuinely think it was reactional on his end. The, the the man in me, the pride in me, the the, uh, the American man backbone that I have in me wanted to do things back to him. But it's weird how in those moments you also do think of things on the fly like my job, my family, my kids. Say I did. Say I did push back, even just pushed him back when he tapped my hand, which I think was reactional. That's the kind of guy in the state of mind that he was in. If he had a knife on him, easily, easily could have went right into me. That to me wasn't worth pushing forward. Now, again, if I had to, if he genuinely punched me, hit me, grabbed me, by all means, I would do, and I would say, do everything you can to protect yourself, get out of the situation, don't go crazy. Even if I did defend myself and had to punch him back, knock him down, fight him, whatever, I'm not gonna sit there and try to UFC knock him out and progress things and ruin his life. My hope for people always is that a guy like this in five years down the line is clean, can change, um, and do better for himself in life. That is my, still my hope for a guy like this. You know, I don't want to see anyone uh, on the streets struggling, especially 
especially if this guy at some point in our life, I would have called him a hero. You know, if he served our country, something like that. So it's one of those situations where I can say, I am very happy with the way I reacted. I protected my job, myself, my family without going further than it needed to be taken. Um, our company that I was with, I'm not gonna say, uh, actually did put out a statement showing the whole company this video saying, uh, well, look, I'm tangled up right here, uh, that, that I did a good job uh, handling this, that I did a good job, you know, not oh, progressing it to where it didn't need to go. And I'm happy in the end that I went home safe. Uh, I did call the cops, my work made me call the cops. They went out and talked to this guy. Uh, hopefully, my hope is he's doing better, but again, yeah, there was moments where uh, it felt weird. It's one of those things where you always wonder how you're gonna react and I'm happy with the way I reacted. And I'm also glad that I genuinely wasn't scared. There was no scarcity, is that the word, uh, in me. I wasn't scared of the guy. I wasn't, you know, gonna pee my pants. I didn't wanna run away. It's a weird feeling. I can't even describe it. Like you feel like this guy could stab me or something, who knows what he has. But it wasn't fear. I almost had a lot of logical thinking going on in my head, which uh, made made me pretty happy. Uh, I'm like, wow, I actually was thinking uh, smart during this. I didn't overreact or underreact. I just kind of felt like I did uh, the right thing. But let me know. Let me know what you guys would have done in this situation. Of course, you know we all have our say of what we'd do. Or or the reality is, you probably have an idea of what you thought you would have done. Because to be honest, if you showed me this video and it was someone else and you guys were showing me this video, I would probably be one of those people to say, I would've knocked the guy out. I would've punched him. I would've hit him with my equipment. That, that's what I said. That's what I would tell you guys I would've done. But being in this situation, that's not what I did. A completely different video. Well, I'm all about video games and toys. Uh, if you stumbled across this, so I hope you had fun. But otherwise, yeah, we'd uh, talk about video games and toys. Uh, but yeah, do your best. Stay good, guys. Love each other. Don't don't pick fights. Don't fight people. And uh, I got nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm out.